So this is one of the suttas where the Buddha talks about appearance and how important it is. And to understand what is going on here, I'm going to explain to you very briefly what is meant by this, because it says here that those families dwell with Brahma, where the mother and father are revered by the children. Now what does it mean to dwell with Brahma? What is this Brahma idea? Now there's many ways you can understand what Brahma is. One way is to simply know that Brahma is the highest god in the Hindu religion, the ancient Brahmanical religion that existed in, Bud in India two and a half thousand years ago, is basically the forerunner of what we now know as Hinduism. In those days, the god, the main god of that religion was Brahma. It was sometimes like the, the fundamental, or the, you know, the ground of consciousness, was it sometimes it was called, or sometimes it was like a more of a personal god as well. But it's the highest one. So here, what they're saying is that when you dwell correctly towards your parents, you are dwelling with like the highest God in the universe. It's almost like a Christian was saying, you are dwelling with God when you are dwelling respectfully towards your parents. But another way of understanding this, and this is more like a Buddhist way if you like, is that in Brahma in Buddhism means something like the highest. And you may have heard the, the word known as the Brahma Viharas, the Brahma Viharas are often translated as the divine abidings. And these are the kind of emotions that we try to develop in Buddhism. This is the metta, the loving kindness emotion, the compassion, and the sympathetic joy and the equanimity. These are the four Brahma Viharas, divine abidings.